Brian Home Buyers, and today we're talking about how to sell your house fast in Georgia. So there are three tips that we have for everyone. Number one, you need to consider how long you're willing to wait. Number two, you need to think about how much you're willing to spend to sell your house. And number three, you need to think about the price point that you are selling your house at. So number one, how long you're willing to wait. Uh, basically, what's your timeline? Um, so traditional amounts are typically, you're going to be selling your house in about three to six months and that all kind of depends on, you know, the market conditions, what your house looks like, the neighborhood, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so if you're looking to sell your house fast, which is, I'm assuming you are, that's why you click this video, um, three to six months might be too long for you. Maybe you're looking for something a little bit faster, but uh, when you go the traditional route with a real estate agent, um, that's probably about the time frame you're looking at when you do that. Um, so second, you need to think about your budget. Do you have a limited budget? And I know a lot of people are kind of confused on why we're talking about a budget when you're looking to sell your house, uh, but there are two really big points in selling your house the traditional way that you'll probably be forking out money. So the first one is when you go to renovate your house, because most of the time when you see a house that is listed on the MLS, it is, you know, newly newly redone. So it has, you know, different cabinets, uh, nice countertops, uh, bathroom looks great, blah, blah, blah. It, it has got the works, it's going on with that. Um, so you'll probably have to put in that same kind of money. So if, your budget for selling your house isn't that great, um, that can really put a damper. And especially if you're gonna think about doing the work yourself, that'll definitely slow down the buying or the selling process. Uh, and then also you'll be giving commission to your agent. Um, so that, you know, it's annoying, but it's the price you have to pay when you go the traditional route. So you have to keep those two things in mind when, um, you're thinking about your budget and how much you're willing to let go um, with the money. And finally, what is your price point? So this can kind of be tricky, especially in a market uh, right now, because everything seems like it's just going up and up and up and you can wait a couple months and the house might be worth, you know, twice as much as it was a day ago, who knows? But um, that's, it's a, it's a gamble and it's hard to kind of predict those sort of things and you know, real estate agents will commonly tell you, oh yeah, it'll be fine. Like, of course you can get that amount of money out of it and blah, blah, blah. And then you're sitting at that price point and you, you're still there a year later, six months later, whatever. Um, and it can be really frustrating and annoying, especially when you're trying to get out of the house quickly. So I'm assuming that you clicked on this video for a reason, you wanted to sell your house fast in the traditional way isn't exactly the fastest, the best, um, or, you know, a good fit for you. So if you are looking to get your house sold very quickly, you can click the link below or give us a call at the number right here and um, we will give you a fair, fast cash offer for the house. So yeah, see you next time.